Uh, good afternoon, you guys. Uh, my senior seminar class, Dr. Williams. Um, for one, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and uh, actually watching this video. I am doing an experiment, and it is based upon the effects of whey protein on the muscle of the body. Um, you might ask, what exactly is whey? Well, whey or milk serum is the liquid remaining after milk <coughs> has been curdled and strained. It is a byproduct of the main factor of cheese or casein and has several commercial uses. These are pretty much the leftovers. And the leftovers contain protein that have essential amino acids that can aid in the building and construction of the muscles of the body. Scientists have discovered a way to actually take this whey product and use it for the use or the better use of uh, strengthening and enhancing the muscles of the human body. And these methods include protein bars, protein shakes, smoothies, um, even the total consumption of the weight itself upon many other uh, ways to consume the whey product. The most common way would be a protein shake. Out. Now, as an athlete, you, you may know, you may not know, I played baseball here at all corn uh, for three years. I've actually stopped now, but I've always been a fan of sculpting the body. I've always been a fan of staying fit, staying in shape, and since I can remember, uh, maybe as far back as high school, I started lifting weights, and I wanted to gain muscle. I wanted to be ripped. I wanted to have six-pack abs. I wanted to have, you know, the big bulky muscles, large biceps, uh, large pecs, uh, strong, firm back. I wanted to be sexy, as, as Jesus would say, with my shirt off, pretty much. Uh, well, it all started with going into GNC and talking to a sales representative and actually you know, inquiring and having questions about how can I actually grow muscle, how can I develop this muscle. So I was in the GNC and I spoke to the salesperson and I asked what's the best way to get lean muscle or bulky muscle and she directed me to the whey protein section and explained that the consumption of whey protein through milkshakes will aid directly feeding the muscles. The amino acids will actually feed the muscles if you put forth the effort through a workout regimen. So you must have a workout regimen to coincide or to um, to actually to actually complement the whey protein so that you can have success so that you can see results. So that you will actually partake in the fruits of the labor, so, so to speak. Um, the whey protein builds size. It is good for fatigue um, when working out. It helps you recover faster with your workout. And it is really overall good. It, 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 it aids in the speeding up the process of building muscle opposed to your natural workout where you work out so much, so much, so much, tiring yourself out, having soreness and such, and then you uh, on down the road, maybe months and months and months later, opposed to a rapid fire type of deal with the whey protein, seeing results more quickly. Um, now, whey protein is not the same for everyone. Depending on your body type, depending on the things that, uh, well, really, in your name, your, your actual uh, wounds will allow you to, will, will depict how the whey protein will actually work with you. Um, let's say you're a larger person, um, a heavier person, uh, much more mass. Whey protein can even aid in reducing weight. It can be it can be used as a dietary supplement to reduce weight 
as it could be adapted and supplement as it can increase weight and increase muscle gain um, in the same. So it can be used in both ways. Now, there are certain side effects to using whey protein. Upon using whey protein, yes, it is very, very, very beneficial with working out. It is very beneficial um, with shortness. It is very beneficial with gaining the weight, gaining the muscle, all those good things. But outside of the workout regimen, in everyday life, it can it, it can increase excuse me it can increase your fatigue and tiredness outside of working out. It can increase your bowel movement the, 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 the times that you go to the restroom. It can also uh, cause thirst bloating, um, and it can also cause headaches. Yes, it can it can cause headaches in people. Um, not all the time is it that prevalent. It is a side effect, not a guaranteed side effect. A more guaranteed side effect from whey body protein would be the excess amount of time that you go to the restroom. So it could be a sick situation. Uh, well, I. I, uh, I'm actually still going through experimentation, but to go about experimenting how whey protein affects the body, I took two specimens. I labeled them subject A and subject B. Subject A being uh, the guinea pig or the, um, the variable in which I be manipulated, and I have subject B, which would be my control, natural workout uh, specimen, natural workout regimen. Both individuals partake in the same uh, type of workout. All workouts are the same. They actually work out side by side. However, subject A will be consuming uh, whey protein pre and post workout. 75 grams of protein pre and post workout, a total of 150 grams altogether within a workout scoop. See this scoop here? Two scoops of these, 75 grams. So you take two scoops of these before and two scoops of these after, it's a total of 150 grams of whey protein with those essential amino acids, uh, we're going to see exactly how the muscles of the body will react and, and see if it actually has a more beneficial, uh, a more beneficial result than that of the natural workout system. So let's get into how they will exactly be working out. I have my specimen on a uh, week workout regimen, they work out three days out of the week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, cardiovascular and weightlifting routine, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and the weekends, those will be designated rest days. On Monday, my specimen have two-mile run for their cardiovascular. Within the weight room setting, they have bench press, weighted lateral pull down. Those are the uh, pull down with the weight. You pull down, it's like actually sitting on a machine. When you pull down, you swing them in a standing gym. Uh, dumbbell curls is just simply curling the dumbbell. Then you have your pull up, so you pull yourself up. and after that workout on Monday, they have a cool down and stretch so that they can loosen up their muscles. So we do 40. On Wednesdays, they have 10 100-yard sprints. 
on the practice football field outside of the gym. So that's down 100 yards, the full length of the football field. They do that 10 times for cardiovascular. Then they have well, Wednesday is their leg day. Monday was the upper body day. Wednesday is the leg day, lower body. They do weighted dumbbell lunges. They're simply lunging with dumbbells in their hands. Weighted barbell squats that go in squats with the bar. And then they have leg curls, which is almost similar. Well, it's pretty similar to the, uh, the dumbbell curls that you would do with your arms. However, you do it with your legs and working that hamstring. And then they do box jumps where they jump up on a box. And then to conclude that day of workout, they will cool down and stretch. On Fridays, there's a mixture of upper and lower body. First, they run stadium in Jackson Stadium right here on campus. They actually run the full, they, they run up the stadium steps. They run up like they incline up the stadium steps. They do it five times, they go up. And then they come down, they walk down, but they run up five times. Then they do the dumbbell bench press. They're simply doing bench press with the dumbbell. So you have isolation in both arms, and you're actually pushing up like an actual uh, dumbbell with a bar. However, it is with two separate dumbbells, isolation on the arm. You have leg press, which is similar to which is similar, excuse me, to squat. However, you're in more of a uh, seated or a laying position and you push up with your legs. Push ups are on this um, this mixture day and body squats with no weight. And to conclude, once again there'll be a cool down and stretch. So far I have made it through a month and a half of of um, experimentation and so far it seems that my hypothesis that the uh, whey bolic protein or the whey protein for short actually has a significant amount of difference to the uh, natural working out. The whey protein has those essential amino acids that I have touched upon um, in the overview that allows the muscles to, 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 to consume and eat and actually take off like a rocket. I mean, subject A is on a roll. I've I've seen I've seen gain in weight. I've it's, it's a notable it's a noticeable appearance, and the muscle mass and the tone and the structure of the muscles actually being sculpted. You can see the chiseling. You can see uh, the rippling of the of the muscles. You can notice the, that there is minor, minor, minor fatigue, and you can also notice, you can also notice the strength. I mean, from day one, you can see, okay, this is where the bar is set for subject A. However, as weeks progress, you can see that the strength increased in number of weight or the amount of weight that uh, was going on uh, with subject A from the beginning been a significant incline, almost, I want to say almost 50 additional pounds of weight from the previous state uh, beginning at week one, and we're now at week six, where we're more than halfway through these sessions. Now, subject B, however, is also doing well, however, you don't see the they're, they're at a different level. This is, I would say this is subject A and this is subject B. Subject B has tiredness, soreness. You can see the fatigue on the subject's face. Um, Strength-wise, there's a significant difference. I've, also, I've only seen about 15 additional pounds and in inches of strength where I see 50 on this end with that, those amino acids given by the whey protein. It's taking off like a rocket. And for 15, the natural process is much slower than that of the way the way by the protein. Uh, the stamina from week one to week four was very, very slim. Um, 
due to the soreness and the tiredness until the acclimation uh, for week four. Now there's a steady stamina. Uh, subject B has gotten used to the to the to the different exercises and is actually on uh, more of a roll. However, you can see that that difference from subject A and subject B, where subject A has that help from the whey ball of protein to sustain stamina, and subject B did not have those amino acids coming in as regularly as subject A had. So the the sustainability and the adaptability was not there in the beginning, but now um, has has uh, taken off, and subject B is slowly inching closer. However, subject A is continually on the rise and at a rapid pace with that weight protein. So we still have about two weeks left. Uh, while while I'm here discussing with you guys, I'm going to show you an example of a weight protein. It's my favorite is um, muscle milk product. I have here a muscle milk product. Cyto gainer, it aids in gaining weight, gaining muscle. These are for guys who really want to put on an extra amount of weight. They have different number of series. This series here puts on weight and helps you keep the weight on as well as build muscle. Uh, we're talking about 54 grams of protein per scoop. 54 grams of protein per scoop. So, Let's say in a week span, you're, you're consuming, you're consuming well over the amount that you may even take in and consume with eating and contain it. Because remember, some of this mass you're uh, releasing through bowel movement, through uh, through your urine, uh, working out, sweat, burning those calories. But the side of gainer actually aids in helping you to uh, to sustain weight, to sustain the the, the gram and keep the pounds on, keep them building up, keep those amino acids inside of you, keep those amino acids at the feeding stage with the muscles and, and, and keeping you at, a, at an up tempo pace, but keeping you at a, at a level where you can maintain the weight. Another uh, nice protein, a uh, uh, whey protein, would be the elite gourmet. This is given to me by my brother in law. He uses it, and I mean, he is one of real guy. He, he's using this stuff, and it's taking me to a whole different level. He's a beast in the gym, and, and, and he's taking off like a rocket with this stuff. I've yet to use it, but I can't wait to get into the weight room and uh, try it out. But that's all I have. I want to thank the athletic department for allowing me to use the facility, the weight room, subject A and subject B, who I promise to keep their name uh, under wraps. I will not expose their name. Um, but I want to thank those guys. Also, I want to thank the athletic department and the football team for allowing me to use the practice field. Uh, I want to thank them also for letting me use, <coughs> excuse me, Jackson Stadium using the stadium set. Um, just using the facilities of the uh, Witten Stadium, the gym. And uh, to you guys, I'm signing off. Thank you, Dr. Williams, for your time. And I, I ask you guys enjoy. Um, I'm looking to do a PowerPoint, so uh, it may be coming soon. I appreciate you guys' time. Jordan Glover, signing off.